Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking an over look. We're going to be looking at the Rams offense and um, kind of just taking a look at it. And I'll tell you guys what I think we need um, to really uh, make us have the number one overall offense. Um, so let's get started. Um, obviously the quarterback, we have, um, Stafford, so, we're good at quarterback, um, don't need to sign anybody, we have four signs, so, we're good, we don't need anybody, we've got our starter, um, so, um, and next up, move to quarterback, or running back, um, <coughs> Running back, uh, obviously we have our starter, Cam Akers, um, and you know he did a pretty good job last year. Um, uh, I think he had a pretty good rookie season, um, had some good runs. Um, so I think he's really going to um, become a great running back course of the next couple seasons, you know, um, he did a good job last year, and I think he's going to continue to do a good job, and, um, that's solid, you know, we also have Daryl Henderson Jr., which I think is also, um, a really good running back, I think he could also do a starter, um, and I was with all these game makers, so, Running back position, I would not worry about at all. Um, we have good running back, so let's move on to wide receiver. A uh, wide receiver, we have 19 wide receivers signed to the team. Um, yes, that's a lot. Um, most of them are targets for Stafford, which, um, yeah, but. We got Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, um, Sean Jackson, Van Jefferson, Tutu Atuela, um, and Sean and I just need a couple that could all be worth starting. Um, obviously, Cooper Cup, Robert Woods are um, about 99.9% chance of their debit of starting. Um, they're going to be two of the starters. Um, so it's really all up to that your position who's going to start. You know, we got Van Jefferson, Tutu Atuella, and Sean Jackson. <coughs> I think Van Jefferson should start, but I think it's going to be Deshaun Jackson when he's healthy. Um, he always pulls his hammy, so he'll be out. Um, so yeah, but I don't know who's going to be smarter at that third wide receiver position. We have a lot of great candidates that could all do really good there. So, I'm not sure about that. But, we just have to uh, wait and see and uh, see what happens. So, nice. Next up, um, tight end. Obviously, we got Tyler Higby as our starting tight end. Um, did a good job this year at uh, and I'm not sure how many receptions, but he had 589 yards. I'm pretty sure all his receptions are not as good as last year, but it was still a pretty good, pretty good year. I think for a ton of 589 yards, not bad. Um, could he have done better? Yes, but not bad at all. So. I think he did pretty good. <clears throat> Obviously, we got rid of Jared Leverett, who we didn't need. Um, uh, so, our second turn tight end now is Johnny Munt, um, which I think he's going to do a good job. Um, after him last year, he really stepped up in week seven against the Bears when Higby was out. So, I'm really excited to see what he can do. Uh, he really stepped up last 
last year in a week seven, so um he contributed a lot to special teams too, so um <clears throat> you know, we'll just we'll see what happens and um he's really gonna step up and uh, yeah. Um next uh we're gonna go do the offense line and it's gonna start left tackling all the way over. So you know, left tackle we obviously have Andrew Whitworth, but he's actually old, he's thirty nine, I'm thirty nine. Um, so he's gonna be retiring soon. And um obviously we have Jermaine Adrian Jr. who we drafted last year in the draft who could be a really good um starting left tackle, I think. Contributed a lot on special teams this year when he did. You know, he was only active for like two games. Um so but Joseph No Boone played the majority of left tackle last year because Andrew Whitwood was out from week eight all the way to the playoffs. So No Boone took over that starting job there. Um so uh, obviously it's gonna be Whitworth till he retires. But when he does, he's gonna be no boom and boom. We just grabbed in another one. I really don't know. <clears throat> the possibilities. We have a lot of people who could replace him and do a good job at it. So um, we're just gonna have to wait and see, I guess. Um I don't know who's gonna replace him when he retires, but you know, he's still doing a great job, so why retire? Uh, next up, left guard. Um still don't know who's gonna start here. Um Joseph Nobum was the starting left guard last year. He started for week one and week two, and then in week two, he was out with a knee injury. Came back for week eight, though, recovered. But then Andrew Whitworth went out in week eight because of a knee injury. So, no boom went over and played left tackle for Whitworth. Um, and then when the playoffs kicked in, Whitworth was back in healthy. No boom didn't go back to left guard, though Edwards stayed at left guard. So, I'm not sure who's going to start there. I think it's going to be Edward, but not 100% sure. So, uh, yeah. Next up, center. Um, our center, obviously we did not draft one. Austin Cliff signed with the Chiefs. So, we need a center. Um, but, you know, they said they were going to draft one because... We have a lot of possibilities and depth at our um, on our offensive line. So deep that position are Brian Allen, Jamal Demby, Michelle Shelton, you know, maybe even Austin Corbett, um it all depends, you know. They're probably all gonna take some snaps under center during practice camp. Um I mean whoever can do the best job and do it effectively, so, next up, right guard, um, right guard is Austin Corbett, um, he's a good, he's solid, um, gets the job done, does what he needs to, so, not much else to say about him, next up, right tackle, Rob Havenstein, um, we drafted him a couple of years ago, um, He's done a great job. Um, he has done a great job for us. So, <clears throat> he's only 26. So, you know, he, he's great at what he does. And he's 26. Which we're going to get a lot more years out of him. So, yeah. Um, and what I think we need on the offense. It's kind of tough. I think... We could get a center, but obviously we do have a lot of people for depth on our O line, so I don't really think we need anybody that bad. We could use a center, but we don't need anybody that badly. Um so yeah. 
Uh, so guys, um, I guess that's it. Uh, see you guys later.